Hello Tubesters and welcome to another one of Gav's videos. Uh, today I'm giving another review to some front rank figures that have just uh, dropped through the letterbox. Uh, these are the Nassau and the Wurttembergers that I'd mentioned in a previous video. So I thought um, I'd take a break from painting and give you guys a, a quick look. The figures we've got in front of us, these are Nassau's. Let me just see if I can Sorry about my grotty hands. These are going to be in a green, like a medium green, with black cuffs, black collar, and uh, yellow piping. Now, the Nassau battalion that I've bought, that was part of, um, you know, where they do these uh, pre pre-made uh, battalions were slightly cheaper so uh, that's how I purchased this particular battalion. I, I do like to actually get uh, units that I, I pick and mix myself because it just means that um, let's let's face it all these I get the pleasure of painting them but then I go and sell them so whoever buys them usually gets uh, you know a unit that is slightly different from somebody else's As you can see there's not too too much flash on, just the usual uh, around the bayonet. There's always some on the on the shakos. The only problem when you've got these shako covers with with mold lines is you just got to be a bit careful because you either go two ways. You either go brutal with the mold line and take half the half the, the sculpting off, or you go too light and then you put some paint on them and realise there's bits of mold line showing. Um, the odd bit of worms off the tip of the scabbard there but on the whole lovely figures now what you're seeing down there is a stripe not a not a, a line in the moulding or casting I should say let's have a look at an officer you see nice facial details now these guys the Nassau's and the Württembergers I believe they've not done reinforcement packs yet um, I know they've done some of the Prussians, the British, um, the French, uh, but I'm, I'm not sure if, if any of the other uh, nations have that, that they've done reinforcement packs yet. It has been a, a moan of some people that, you know, front rank were getting a bit behind the times, you know, they looked a bit staid, didn't have so much movement, or, or so, not so much movement, but, but um, you know, choice in figures. Um, so they've done these reinforcement packs and if you've seen my French that I've painted up as Italians they've got those sprinkled through the the unit you know NCOs and uh, and you know different drummers things like that but at the moment these guys don't have them so that's an officer this guy will give us some facial detail again you see now with these guys you can get you can get eyes in them without making them look like fried eggs because uh, they've got lovely big faces obviously the perries are a lot more slender to these guys um, but you know I really as you know I really enjoy my front rank figures so I've got no no um, financial gain in this at all you know I buy these figures myself you know I don't know anybody at front rank I just like the figures so that's him. I like this one here with the uh, sabre over his shoulder, but he's still carrying the, the colours. And I had a brief read. I, as I say, I, I really advise you to go out and get the Rawkins um, CD ROMs, I believe are they called. <laughs> um, they haven't got like the important one like France. The French aren't represented at the moment, and I still believe he's still redoing the, the Prussian ones. These have gone back, I think, believe to the 1970s and 80s, the Rawkins, um, and the, I think he's just redoing them all with updated, you know, as they've learnt different things, he's updating them all. Um, but I had a quick look at the Nassau's and they were saying they've carried the same colours, because as you know they went over to the Allies um, in the 100 Days campaign after uh, the fall of Napoleon, they were more or less wearing what they were wearing. Uh, when they were in French service, I believe. 
Don't quote me on that yet because I'm not an expert on Nassau's. You've got a grenadier in his coal pack, which is always nice. Again, it just adds that bit of difference, and it, you know. Very, very nice figures. So let's get these to one side and we'll have a quick look at the Württembergers. Let's get a few out on the table for you. Oh, and then he put a, another figure in there that shouldn't have been there. Right. Here's one of the Musketeer figures or Fusiliers. Again, I, forgive me, I'm not an expert on these guys. I, you get to know them more as you paint them, and as I don't know anything about Württembergers either, um, I literally learn as I go. Some some of the some of the figures, you've got like the embossed um, badges there. You'll notice on the Italians that I'm painting, um, because they were French originally, they've got no they've got no uh, um, motifs on the cartridge box I've painted those in but obviously this guy has got one stamped on these guys are going to be painted as the 4th regiment now I'm just going to, can I look behind me and actually um, you know how I slaughter everybody's language including my own I think this is the uh, well it is definitely the 4th and it's the Franquamont I think that's how you say it so it's going to be dark blue with pink facings, which I thought would be a, a nice change. Again, only minimal, usual mould lines you'd expect, but nothing chunky, nothing out of order. Very nice. I usually put a bit of a file over the bayonets just to slim them down. I'm not one that really makes them sharp and, and very thin. I'm quite happy for them to be chubby. That way they survive contact with the floor if somebody drops them. It's an officer. Again, you'll find the, the poses tend to be, obviously they use the same, the same uh, was it dolls, you know, armatures, whatever, um, for a lot of figures, as in all manufacturers do. Uh, but again, that doesn't detract from a beautiful figure. I'm going to show you this grenadier. Again, lovely work. That's that. Um, what else did I get from them? You might see a bunch of eagles here in the past cheapskate that I am, I've actually made them out of uh, plastic milk bottle tops and cut them out and put uh, one slightly bigger than the other so, so it's a tiny bit 3D but I thought hey hang the expense I'll pay me £3 odd and, uh, and get me eagles this time and uh, some poles to, or staves to stick them on, I think they're called staves in real, real terms uh, although obviously if you're going to buy one of the battalion packs or something like that they'll have one of those in there and then just a quick uh, squeeze this is a 95th rifle uh, if you will remember back to a few videos ago I've painted um, 11 95th rifles and realistically probably even it out to 12 again they'll all be sold I'm just going to do a mass a mass sale of Napoleonic figures in a in a month or so's time uh, and I just thought they'd be probably better for skirmishing they're all on skirmish bases as in single bases, so I thought, well, I better have 12 rather than 11. So he's just there to fill out the fill out the uh, the unit. So thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look at uh, this little review. Uh, if there's anybody out there that actually wants to say which one gets painted, I'm quite happy to. They both got to get painted. So if you fancy Wurttemberg or if you fancy Nassau uh, give me a shout in the comments and uh, you know when I get round to actually finishing the Italians which could be by December <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll top up what people say and, uh, and we'll go for one or the other 
So thanks a million guys for stopping by and taking a look. I do appreciate your support. It gives me a nice boost. I'm sat here painting all day long, seven days a week. Um, and I do enjoy your videos. Uh, I enjoy my history. I enjoy a bit of sci-fi and fantasy as well. But uh, I enjoy, enjoy see what you guys turn out with your paintbrushes. So keep up the good work. Thanks for all your support. And I will catch you again on another video. Cheers.